But let's check in to see just who is the most superstitious driver in America. Are you superstitious? Give me a superstition. Yes, I am superstition. I don't like people interview me before I, my horse race is in a big race. Wait, do you have any superstition? Oh, yes. Peanut shells. Stepping on them in the grandstand is very bad luck. Peanut shells? Peanut shells. What's bad luck about it? It's just an uh, old superstition, that's all. Mark, do you have any superstitions? Yeah, uh, some, what's it there? I, I don't like having much of pictures taken of horses before they race. For the previous month, I'd use this same shampoo every night. And two nights during that month, I didn't use it. With the only two nights, I didn't win a race all month. One of them is like cutting their hair from the race, their bridle path. And another one is, and I drives me absolutely nuts if anybody comes in my barn eating peanuts. That's a no-no. Now meet the Hazel Park Drivers Valet, Ernie Jack Jackson. Jack is the man who for almost 40 years has been washing and cleaning drivers' colors, shining their boots and setting out their clothes in preparation for the nightly races. We asked Jack who the most superstitious driver was that he has ever met. The most superstitious driver, no shadow of doubt, is Jeff James. Well, he puts his stuff on the same way. He needs about that. Everything got to be right. Are you a superstitious guy? Yeah, most of the time. Somewhat. Just somewhat. Depends on the, on the condition, but yes, I am superstitious. Um, I have certain procedures that I go through uh, when I get ready, uh, dressed in, and prepared before a race. Those are the things that I, I do probably the same all the time. Uh, take off your street clothes, and depending on what you're wearing, uh, whether what time of the year it is, um, uh, if you're wearing summer colors, you don't wear a lot underneath them. Um, uh, generally, just uh, uh, your socks and your underwear. Tonight, probably just a, a light set of short sleeve uh, uh, summer colors and uh, a pair of socks and a, and a t-shirt underneath my colors. The reason that I do it is uh, because it's it's uh, it's a routine and it, it's habit, and I, and I do it. Uh, to give myself peace of mind from a uh, from a safety and a luck standpoint, I think is, is probably the two reasons that you do it. And the Michigan Harness Horsemen's Association Award for the most superstitious driver goes to Jeff James. Well, there's no doubt that Jeff James ranks high on the superstition list. Another superstition: if you're ever thinking of hanging a lucky horseshoe above your door, this is how you hang it. If you do it this way, all your luck is going to fall out.